hello everybody we are back here on the channel once again i wake up brand new trailer for way of the hunter and this time it actually is a gameplay trailer we're gonna pause it right here i just wanted to say this is probably one of the better red deer models i've seen in a while i'm very impressed with the red deer and i think they're probably going to be my favorite thing to hunt in way of the hunter as you guys know if you've been around the channel for any amount of time i absolutely love red deer they're my favorite animal in the entire world and I just absolutely think they are the most majestic thing in existence. So let's continue the trailer. They look very good, though. I'm very impressed. And I'm glad that they didn't make them incredibly tiny like some of the previous games that I've seen have. They actually did them justice from what I can see. So they step out of the cabin and take a look at the vehicle getting ready to drive off for the day. And it looks pretty great. I am a very big fan of the design of these maps that they've decided to go with. It definitely gives off a different vibe than a game like Hunting Simulator or Call of the Wild or the Hunter Classic, which is good to see. It looks very unique compared to them. It also seems like they have gone with their own style of tracking system, quite different from what we've seen in other games, which is also cool. I'm really curious if it's going to be difficult to track animals because it definitely looks like things are quite different. They don't show up as much, but the tracks kind of leave more indentations in the grass. So that is pretty cool right there, but it seems like there's definitely a some kind of hunter sense tracking, it, it seems at least. And then right here we have our first look at the audio cues, which are reminiscent of Call of the Wilds, but at the same time completely different, which is also cool. Here we get our first look at a weapon being drawn about to take down a red deer, and I just wanted to pause it right here again and say that I do really like the look of the scopes in this game i think they've done a pretty good job now now from the trailer we did see like four different reticles that look different from this one so it seems like there's a pretty wide variety of scopes in the game which is awesome i've been wanting to see a large variety of scopes in call of the wild and unfortunately we've only got like three or four of them as of now at least for rifles but then right here we've got, I've seen five I believe, which is great. It's good to see that they're going to have a lot of variety. Now I was really hoping to see the actual shot get taken here, but sadly they didn't show the actual shot. However, one thing that I will mention while we're looking at this uh, third person view is that the animations for the animals are probably the most polished thing that we have seen from this entire trailer. I am very impressed with the way the animals move when they're eating, the way they're running away. I think it looks really stunning. And then we get a view of the hunter running up to claim the animal. And we will get our very first look at a blood trail, which looks a lot more realistic than what I've seen most games do. And honestly, it kind of gives me a little bit of the uh, Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts vibe. I think it kind of looks similar to those trails. Though not completely, and we're going to pause right here because this is actually probably the most impressive part of all of this. The kill screen looks so good. Like it gives you so much information from hit energy, recommended hit energy, current energy. It shows all of the organs that were hit. It gives you all of the information about the gun. It shows a detailed look at the animal. This is impressive. This might be one of the best kill screens of any hunting game ever made. This is incredibly detailed and really gives you a good idea of what your shot was like. And as we can see, there is the option to taxidermy an animal. There's the option to sell. And it looks like we have an overview hunt and trophy tab up at the top and the bullet camera as well. So that is just like I was thinking. The bullet camera will be something that you can view uh, from the claim menu which is good. I'm so happy they've done it that way. I've always thought the bullet cams were kind of cool, but they really were not for me when it comes to gameplay purposes. But considering this one is only viewable from the claim screen, I think that is a really awesome, awesome call. Because then you still have to take your shot like normal, but you can get a review of the bullet cam from the harvest screen, which is really nice. But let's continue the trailer on and finish the rest of the stuff they have to show, which there's not really a ton left, however. What we do have is the Trophy Lodge. Now, I will say, I was kind of hoping for a bigger Trophy Lodge. It doesn't seem like it's super huge, but, I mean, 
at the end of the day, I guess it is what it is. As long as they have something to display the trophies, I just hope that there's a little bit more than what we've seen in this trailer, as it does look like there maybe is only a couple rooms and there's not a lot of mounts in them. So that's one of the things that I am a little disappointed about. But everything else looks pretty incredible. Very excited to play this game when it comes out. And man, it is going to be a ton of fun. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys liked what you saw here, and if you guys want me to keep you updated on everything The Hunter, Call of the Wild, Way of the Hunter, Ultimate Hunting, and Call of the Wild, The Angler. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!